hi guys uh, this is the first video for using Desmos online calculator for graphing I'm going to show you a few techniques and very useful features of Desmos online graphing uh, with the help of which you can like explore different graphs and you can use that specific technique which I'm going to talk about today to create different patterns I'll show you for example I have done something here okay and this you can do it easily with Desmos so let's get started and I'll start from the scratch so what you have to do you need to just type Desmos calculator start graphing and you will see these tabs here first tab second tab like that so you can just start entering different graphs for example y equals to 3x plus 5 whatever so it line or parabola whatever you think like that so this is easy this is not difficult but the thing what I'm going to talk about today is the list there is a very important feature in Desmos which can be used in different ways that is called list you don't need to type list but I'll tell you how to insert that list uh, by inserting that list at the same time we can have many graphs as many as you want okay you can see now I have entered a linear function 2x plus k x minus k square x plus k square etc whenever you enter like in terms of constants k mp something like that it will ask you add slider don't add slider I'm not going to add slider today I'm going to use very important feature so I'll press k equals okay now you need to go to the key button keyboard the Desmos keyboard and here you insert this bracket parenthesis or bracket whatever you call it now how to use it you start writing some numbers like patterns for example one two three the rule is you need to enter first three values of the pattern then comma then three dots remember put three dots one two three and then put the last number for example you want to put 10 20 whatever so you can 20 and then you can see there are 20 numbers in the list you can put down this keyboard down and we can see one by one what is the effect of uh, these list so guys basically if my graph is y equals to 2x plus k so this k is taking all 20 values and you can see all 20 lines I just put on projector mode so you can see it clearly and same if I hide it and if I just press this parabolas you can see all these parabolas like 20 parabolas at the same time using one equation let's see some trigonometric graphs look how amazing it is you can zoom in out whatever you want to do and you can say this is there's one more important feature in this which you can explore it so what I'm going to use I'm going to insert one more uh, slider this is slider okay for example I'm equals to 2 and here I can edit it like from where to start for example I'll start from 4 to maybe 50 let's say done then now you go back to the list change that 20 to M now it will take as many lists as you change your M okay so now this is amazing now you can have a slider animation look at this look at this now this is really amazing so you should try this and I'll just show you what I did with that so I have my K 0 1 2 till M M is my slider so I can have my slider here so I created different lines I'll show you one by one so let's just see all these lines home okay so now I'll slide the slider button and you can see some amazing animations look at that 
this is really cool I'll stop it maybe hide the lines I'll show you some squares look Look, so all the squares are getting larger and larger. I'll show you lines with that. That makes more sense. Design. Okay, now I'll show you something else. Let me pause this. Now all the triangles. Let's run the slider. you can see the like concentric triangles or consecutive triangles or whatever you say so this is really amazing work which Desmos can do for you now, now all of them are together so using M slider and K list you can do this I hope you will try this and you can get back to me. Thank you.